The feedback so far on CRE has been extremely positive because the flexibility it has to address the different requirements and concerns of everybody in a transaction, which are different for everybody, is very high. One of the main problems with making these transactions work is that if you have a system that addresses the requirements of compliance, data, identity, connectivity of one of the counterparties, the other counterparty might have different or institutional use cases, even significant differences in their requirements. And so what CRE is able to do is it's able to give you a single place, a single piece of workflow code, when you can basically code up the requirements of both sides of the transaction. They can both look at those requirements coded up in this one piece of workflow code. They can agree on this one piece of workflow code that says this transaction works between these two chains using this piece of data, verifying that identity, and updating these off-chain systems and waiting for their approval in order for the transaction to finalize. That's a very common set of requirements. But the systems that need to approve are different, the data sources are different, the identity resources are different, the compliance requirements are different, especially if you're doing cross-border, which is where the vast majority of the, of the capital flows are. And so CRE's ability to simplify all this complexity down into a single piece of code and the ability for it to be built relatively quickly and the ability for it to leverage the data oracles, identity oracles, cross-chain connectivity of all the chain link services, I think that that puts CRE in a unique position. And the user feedback so far has shown us that it's, it's, it's nothing like what they've seen anywhere else. Their alternative to CRE, instead of writing one piece of workflow code that defines 10 or 15 different steps, is literally write five to 10 separate pieces of code all responsible for managing each of the steps. That's what we've been doing for years in the Chainlink community, working with institutions and DeFi protocols. And frankly, it can be a little bit of a nightmare and take a long time and cost a lot. So the feedback on CRE has been extremely positive.